Hi guys, we're outside now today and we're gonna start a little project. Uh, it's called faux stone panels. And we're gonna be installing these panels on the, uh, on the house, down below this molding right here, around the corners, and then uh, at the entrance below there, below that molding, uh, at the entrance of the garage, and then also right over here. I've got my workbench station set up in here. I'm gonna pull the car out first, of course. I don't wanna get it all dusty, but we'll cut the panels on here, and uh, this makes for a good little workbench. These are the panels that we'll be installing. These are faux stone, stone panels. And I'll show you where to get those in the description below the video. They make all different styles. So we'll go ahead and get started here. This might be uh, several days on this project. So I'm gonna to try to cut it short and I just wanted to show you some before and afters. So we'll get a couple shots out here again, how the house looks up when you pull up to it. Okay, this is from the front driveway and gates. I noticed the neighbor, they do have the, uh, the stone on the lower part of their house there. We'll be adding it to ours right here and here and here. Okay, I got a dry fit here on uh, the first corner I did here this afternoon. I'm gonna give you a look at it. Uh, it's not adhered up to the wall yet. It's just a dry fit. I fit the pieces in there, make sure we got a good fit. And uh, see this come together here. And I'll show you later on, you're gonna wanna take your clear caulking down there. And then it comes with a, uh, we ordered a uh, touch up paint kit blend that right in and that corner is going to look just great along with these uh, straight edges here we'll, we'll use that touch up paint on those make sure that's lined up there once we adhere that to the wall and uh, let's get back and take a look at how it looks so we got the first corner done
All right, guys, uh, made some progress again today with the uh, stone on the bottom of the house, and I'll have you take a look at it. Uh, makes a big difference, I think. Hopefully, you can get a good look at it uh, with the sun coming down this way. Hopefully, there's not a glare, but I mean, just look at the difference that stone makes on the bottoms. about these gaps here these you have to fill in with caulking clear caulking and then it comes up uh, I purchased a touch-up kit paint kit that matches these uh, stone panels and I'm going to show you an after picture of that as well uh, and the same with the sides here I'm going to be doing the touch-up paint on that so it looks like a clean finish and then we've got some where we've got to do some fillers right here and then also back in this corner down there but from a distance it looks really good all right guys here's what we're going to be using now is uh this clear caulking this is by dap it's for windows and doors Superior flexibility and crack proof seals joints up to one inch wide. That's what we we got tolerance there for. We might need to go up to one. Well, no, not in this case. If we had to go one inch wide, our cuts were really off. So we're not that bad. Uh, it's for interior, exterior, and uh, it's also paintable. So you'll want to make sure that it's. Alright, after you've caulked your corners and joints and stuff like that, uh, this is what it's going to look like, believe it or not. And that is good. You see how the, uh, the caulking is white when you put it on, but it's going to dry clear. And then we're going to actually apply that touch-up paint on the sides of the brick. And believe it or not, that's gonna look really good after it's dried and then uh, painted with the touch-up paints. So we're pretty much done here, except for the touch-up. We'll come back out after this is dried overnight and we'll do the touch-up paint tomorrow. All right, guys, here's our uh, workstation. Um, I'm actually mixing up these uh, touch-up paint colors. There's three different colors that come uh, per whatever stone you order. And it says to dilute with water, so that's what I've done with each color. This one's kind of like a cream color. This one's a uh, dark gray and this one's like a clay color and with all those combined you should 
get a similar color to that stone. It says you can uh, use a rag to brush it on. Uh, I've got brushes that I might use. I'll try both ways probably. Um, and it says to apply the lighter colors first and then let them dry for a little bit and then come back and apply your darker colors over top. So I'll probably go out there and try this one, get that on there first, and then we'll go from there. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Okay, here's the touch up on the edge. It's just a mixture blend of colors that match the front of the stone. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just has to fool the eye from about a foot or two away. And I think we've done that. move on to the next all right guys we're all finished with the touch-up painting and it's a little bit windy out here today but I'm gonna give you a final uh, view of the stack stone faux panels and tell me how you think it turned out in the comments below uh, how do you think the touch-up worked out on the corners and edges put those in the comments below all right we'll take a look now
our memories like a symphony. And you and I, we got history, yeah. And when you're alone, do you say my name? Or you say her name? Three.